Good morning guys, welcome back and welcome to today's video. So as you can tell from the title, today we have another grocery haul. I get comments and DMs and messages every single day asking me to do more food related videos and honestly, I don't even know if I could make that happen because I feel like my whole channel is just food, but I am here for it. I have to do a big grocery haul today. I have almost like nothing in my fridge. Literally, let me just, let me just show you my fridge real quick. I have some almond milk, some coconut milk, <laughs> cold brew, tuna, sardines, uh, blueberries, and like remainder of what I would use for a salad. I know I'm gonna get a phone call from my mom. Don't worry, mom, I'm gonna fix that today. So there is a Trader Joe's that opened up next to my house and you guys know how I feel about Trader Joe's. I am a huge fan. My only complaint with Trader Joe's, and I do believe, don't quote me on this, but I do believe they're working on this issue, um, is that they prepackage everything. So they kind of use a lot of plastic, but um, they have so many healthy options, good quality food, and I don't know if you guys ever shopped at Trader Joe's, but it's a lot cheaper than at places like Whole Foods or Irwan or any other just a more like high-end grocery store. I have to get all of my staples, so I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to bring you guys along with me. I've also recently um, gotten Amazon Prime. I know, it's it's been a long time coming and I don't know why I've been so resistant, but I got Amazon Prime and I somehow have purchased a crock pot, so I'm gonna be doing some crock pot recipes coming soon. I don't know exactly what we're gonna try first, but we'll definitely, definitely be filming that. And I got an air fryer because Nikki convinced me she has one in her apartment and we use it every single time that I sleep over. So I finally invested in that. My wallet took a hit, but it's fine because I'm gonna put it to good use. I feel pretty familiar with the air fryer because of Nikki. So maybe we'll try that out today. Um, I was thinking of making some like popcorn shrimp type situation and maybe some zucchini. I've been having like cravings for that. So um, that's it for this intro. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video and we are off to what is, in my opinion, one of the happiest places on earth, Trader Joe's. <laughs> Just got back from Trader Joe's. I have my bag sitting right there. I ended up also going to Ralph's and just grabbing a few things from there, just like three things. Uh, but for the most part, I found everything that I needed at Trader Joe's and I saved the receipt to show you guys that it cost me $109. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and unpack everything and show you and go through pretty much every single thing that I got. So I have set everything up and it fit just barely. And I'm gonna start off on this end right here. So this seasoning from Trader Joe's is apparently the best seasoning ever. I see everyone on Instagram talk about how it's amazing. So I finally picked some up. It's everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend. Um, I also needed some ground cinnamon. I got two cartons of eggs. Um, over here we have my fruit. So I have strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, which I got from Ralph's. They have this special kind that are called like jumbo ones and or mighty blues. And they're huge. They taste so good. They're very hard and sour. <laughs> um, and then I also got a blend of frozen berries. Over here I have most of my protein sources. So I got this at Ralph's as well. It's just two pounds of fresh shrimp. Um, I have some organic free-range chicken that I'm gonna try to make in the crock pot. A seafood blend from Trader Joe's. This is just shrimp, calamari, and scallops. Over here, I have some fresh Atlantic salmon and then some sockeye. I believe it's sockeye. They actually taste a little bit different in my opinion. This one's a little bit fattier, so I think it tastes better, but sometimes I crave this one as well, so I got both. Um, that's pretty much all of my protein sources, so salmon, salmon, 
shrimp and like a bunch of seafood some more shrimp and then a little bit of chicken zucchini squash yellow squash brussels sprouts broccoli i got an eggplant which i'm going to try to make today in the air fryer um, three avocados this frozen mix which I don't buy a lot of frozen food, but every once in a while, if I'm like in a rush, it's very, very convenient. So this has garbanzo beans, um, lentils, and then a touch of tomatoes and olive oil. I also have mushrooms, asparagus, brown rice, tortillas. I have been craving breakfast tortillas like no other with like egg, avocado, tomatoes inside. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and make that tomorrow. I have some cherry tomatoes, rice broccolini, rice cauliflower, this steel cut oatmeal, which I know that I could totally make myself, but again, if I'm in a rush, throwing this into a microwave is so convenient, and this tastes so good. It just has um, a little bit of brown sugar and maple syrup inside. Some organic cooked quinoa, again, just for convenience purposes. And my cats are absolutely obsessed with this uh, brand of food, so I got some of this for them. And then the final thing that I got is actually from Ralph's. Um, this is called Mulk, and it's just basically organic almond milk, and the ingredients on here are great is just filtered water natural vanilla flavor which is derived from vanilla beans and himalayan salt for one cup it's 110 calories 10 grams of fat 4 grams of carbs and 4 grams of protein that is everything that i got today that is pretty much all of my staples i do have some stuff in my cabinets that i use on daily basis um like i have a bunch of avocado oil olive oil coconut oil vegetable oil <laughs> basically any kind of oil that your heart desires i have some peanut butter i thought that i didn't have any and then i remembered that i did um cacao nibs some more almond butter some more peanut butter and almond butter salt and then i'm here i just have all the things that i use to sweeten like my oats or acai a bunch of nuts um, some cacao powder granola and things like that I can happily say that the air fryer was a great investment. The dinner was honestly amazing. Like the salmon turned out so good. And I'm so excited for the next Munchy Mondays because I have a bunch of ideas of what I want to try and make in there. So be sure to stay tuned for that one. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you all in the next one.